I'm Annabelle. I'm Clara. And I'm Chanel. And, and we're, we're the pastels. pastels. And we're just a couple of gal pals in Australia. And we run a fashion, beauty, and lifestyle YouTube channel to express ourselves. This is the first feature for Rad Girl Collective Plus, so if you'd like to see the girls behind the channel, then please stay tuned. So we have a couple of questions for Rad Girl Collective. So this one is, how did you three decide to make a collaborative makeup YouTube channel instead of individual ones? Well, oh. everything's better in threes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were thinking about doing this channel for a, a very long, long, time. Time. Yeah, long time. Yeah, it was never gonna be individual. Like we always said, we're gonna start a, a group channel, channel yeah. together. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. So it was always like from the beginning. Like we never actually thought back doing, in high school, like eleventh grade. Yeah. Oh, you make it sound feel so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, it was always the plan to have. Like a group, like the group of us, like mm -hmm. doing the channel together. So like yeah. we could always like be there for one another because doing a channel by yourself can be kind of stressful. That's why people make YouTube friends so that you know, like um, what am I saying? You can like bounce ideas off each yeah. other yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and it's just more fun. Like we being with your friends collaborate is fun. As well. Yeah, we are all going through the same thing, so no one's alone. Must have makeup looks. Ooh. Mm. Well. For me, it would be bright lips. Bright lips. Yeah, bold lips. Bold lips. Always yeah. bold lips. And eyebrows. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think I'm the same. Eyebrows yeah. and bold lips. And then like a neutral eye. Oh, and for me, lots of highlighter. Just even on an everyday basis, I just <laughs> like to glow and shine. So yeah. Yeah, just glowy, bronzy. Glowy. I like the glowy, bronzy look. Mm. Definitely. And good eyebrows and nice eyelashes too. Yeah. 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 Always eyelashes. Mm -hmm. So they're v we're very simple in the eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, you know, but play around with the makeup. Yeah, the unless weekend. there's like an occasion, then we go all out. And all it's just out. like, yes, <laughs> all of it. Just, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. What has been your favorite video to film so far? This is really hard. Um, Do you guys like actually have a one favorite? One video. One favorite. That's I really one. like our Get Ready With Me. I think filming the everyday makeup was it was one of our first get ready with me so it was kind of like discovering some new things mm -hmm. and so that, that's kind of stands out for me yeah everyday makeup routine i like doing the um the festival lookbook i like that one the most that one was really really pretty yeah. if i had to be it's pretty if i do say it's it myself it was really really pretty yeah i can't choose because like when you're so invested in and you create something it's it kind of becomes like a child to you, like your baby. So you can't, you don't like pick your children. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't choose between them. So I can't, I, uh, I'm going to be, I'm just going to give the stock in answer. I can't choose. <laughs> <laughs> and the fourth question is, what are your, what are some of your favorite makeup inspirations? I don't know, for me, what inspires me is um, past eras and makeup trends of past eras, like the 70s, 80s, 90s, and just like, kind of bringing it to the present day. Uh, I like to get inspiration from people like Destiny Godley and Patricia Bright just because we have like really similar skin tones so I know that the look is going to be like a lot easier for me to recreate because I don't know when you're watching um, like tutorials and looks done by girls like lighter skin tones I know for me personally it's kind of hard to visualize how you can recreate the same thing because like the same colors might not look the same if that makes sense. But yeah, I like them a lot. Um, for me, it would definitely have to be like a person that I look up to would be Shay Mitchell. Like every time she, she has a new post on Instagram, I'll like kind of say, oh, what's on your face? And kind of like copy it or. Oh, if we're talking it. about celebrities, yeah. then Lapita as well. Can we just please? But Shay Mitchell. And <laughs> whatever's, on the in, like, whatever's on the Instagram, I like tend to draw inspiration from that. Mm. And YouTubers, yeah. Miss mm. Posh Rush and this Australian beauty guru, um, guru uh, Zara Alia. So. Oh, and for talking about YouTubers, and also for me, um, this girl from LA named Fridia, and she's really cool. I watched her. It was talking yeah. Runway as well. Someone that does like really out there makeup. Um, Sandra Deluxe. She is gorgeous. She is Jamaican and Canadian. Mm. She's beautiful and like her looks are always so like just, she just always looks ethereal okay I guess it's clear we can talk about inspo for days so <laughs> yeah. yeah next question even though we were struggling with this question initially it's yeah. like inspiration is everywhere it so. is it really is yeah um fifth question 
Do any of you have any other individual or collaborative projects that you are working on right now? I'm gonna say no, or just kind of three of us right now. That's for now. We don't know what the future holds. Nothing's been for the future. future holds yet. a yeah. lot, like a lot of good things for us. We'd so like, really we'd like to collaborate. Yeah, it's yeah. really exciting. Yeah. Um, and number six, what makes a rad girl? Okay, I think what makes a rad girl is someone that's not afraid to live by the beat of their own drum. Like someone that's gonna be who they are, regardless of what other people have to say about it. Like. Someone that's going to take charge of their own life and who they want to be and not let other people define them and like define who they have to be or what they have to do mm -hmm. in their own life. Like someone that's not afraid to make their own decisions and be proud of those decisions. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And someone who's not afraid to like break the rules. Yeah. Of like conformity. Of what, yeah. Of like this poster image of what we should be and how we should act, but and like, just but like use our own identity yeah. to like shine past that. Yeah, forge your own identity. Don't use outside influence. Um, so that's all the questions, and I think that's all from us from now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah. please look forward to the rest of our content that we'll be putting out in the next. From now on, yeah, in yeah, the coming weeks, yeah, in the next few weeks. We're here to stay. We're here to <laughs> yeah. stay. We're having fun doing this, so yeah, definitely. So, Rad Girl Collective plus the pastels, stay, stay rad. rad.